In this video, we'll discover how to use the snapping tool in Final Cut Pro. Have you ever moved a clip and it automatically aligns perfectly with another clip? That's what snap does. When snapping is off, the playhead won't lock onto any points in the timeline. But if you want to match two clips edges precisely, snapping is the perfect tool. To enable snap, go to the menu bar, select view, and then snapping or simply press the N key on your keyboard. If snap is already on, you'll see a check mark next to it. You can also use the snapping button on the right of the timeline menu. It's highlighted in blue. Clicking it quickly toggles snap on and off. With snap activated, the playhead will automatically snap to timeline points. When it snaps, it turns bright yellow you can snap to clip start or end points in any intersections between clips. Notice that the playhead snaps to the edges of all clips in the timeline, not just the primary storyline clips. Snapping is handy for editing and moving clips. For instance, if you zoom in by pressing Z and drag a title to the timeline, you'll see it doesn't align perfectly. Snap helps you adjust it precisely to match the edit point, saving you time. Now the edges line up perfectly. Let's do the same for the other edge. Imagine how long it would take without the snapping tool. Plus, see how easy it is to align this clip's position with any point. You can also use snapping with other tools like blade or range selection to make precise edits. Change to the blade tool with a press of B. Next, I'll use snapping to accurately trim the title above my clip. Now let's switch to the select tool by pressing A and reposition this trim title. Now let's give range selection a go by pressing R. I want to highlight this sound effect and separate it from the background music. I'll use snapping to align the background music with the sound effect. Then, I'll pull this line down to lower the music. This is called audio ducking. Snapping is an essential tool and now you know how to turn it on, turn it off, and avoid the hassle of searching for that perfect frame. Next, let's learn how to master the blade tool in Final Cut Pro. I'll share my top three blade tricks and trust me, it will level up your editing skills. Click here to find out more.